Hey guys, it's Queenie. Um, I had a few questions from some of you guys about the jelly prints that I made the other day on my little video. And a few, of you guys, a few of you guys had asked what I actually do with these. Do I use them and what different ways can you use them? So I thought I would show a few different examples of what um, I like to do with my jelly prints. Now, for those of you that have never jelly printed, um, it is really, really easy to just get a stack upon a stack upon a stack of prints. Once you get going, it's so fun and addictive. I just really love doing it. Um, and before you know it, you have a stack taller than you are of prints. So what I decided to do was first, um, I wanted to go ahead and show you this. Um, I have not finished this. This will be a card uh, once I'm done. But I wanted to show this to you while I have the time. Um, just a few little quick tips and ideas that I used on this. Um, first, I've got my little print that I had printed the other day of the spider web um, here on the back. And I just mounted it kind of crooked. This is a dryer sheet, a used dryer sheet that I just kind of pulled apart. It may look like a spider webbing. And I just kind of glued it on there haphazardly and kind of just pulled it out and gave it a little bit of a non-defined shape, I guess. And just FYI, this stuff does not generally stick very well with glue. Um, I suggest maybe a double stick, uh, double sided tape. Um, obviously something that's translucent so you won't be able to see through it. But my second tip is actually um, temporary tattoos. Now I got these a long time ago at the dollar store and it was, I have like several sheets of these. Now I for one personally hate spiders. I'm terrified of spiders. And these are creepy. You got some um, scorpions and tribal stuff. But it being Halloween, you know, I kind of got to bite the bullet and use the spiders. But what I did with this is I took some of this. Um, I don't know that this is vellum. I don't know what you would call this, but it, it's kind of a translucent red. And let me see. So what I did was I just did this exactly the way you would if you were putting on a temp temporary tattoo. The only difference is, is you don't wet the surface first. What I do is I go ahead and I just cut my um, little design that I want to use. I'm going to use a big one so you can see it. And I go ahead and I take the protective um, covering off of it making sure you don't pull it off from the paper and then I just make sure that the surface is clean and flat and then I press it down and then what I like to do is just get a paper towel or a damp rag something like that with just a little bit of water you don't want to put so much water on there that you're going to warp your paper so you just put it up wrong place Hi. You just put it on there just enough to where you can see the um, tattoo coming through the paper. And you just make sure that everything is making contact. And then what I like to do is I take my bone folder and I just kind of go over it just a little bit just to make sure that everything is smooth and that everything is going to adhere to the paper. And then I take a peek at the corner just to make sure and it is not sticking right here. So I'm going to go ahead and press down a little bit harder. And see. Okay. There we go. Now I do this really slowly. If I come to a part that's not sticking very well, I go to another corner and I pull that way so it, was, it will be kind of, you know, keeping it on the paper. But there you go. That's what you get. It's a translucent um, image. So, you know, whatever's behind it is going to come, sh you know, show through. 
Um, now, some of you may wonder, you know, there is a sticky tackiness to this. There are several ways that you can deal with that. Um, if you're quick and in a hurry and you don't want to fool with it, or if you just don't have the option, you can just use cheap hairspray. The cheaper the better. Spray it on there and that will actually act as a, um, a sealant for it and it'll make it smell pretty. So there you go. Um, so if you want to do that, that would work just fine. Um, you can also obviously use Mod Podge or um, gel medium, whatever you would like to use. Anything that you would use uh, Mod Podge for or something like that, you can use for that. So, what I did was I just went ahead and just tore the paper. Just kind of gave it a ragged edge. Make it look all creepy. I mean, obviously, I would have already put my sealant on here before I did this, but for tutorial purposes, okay. So you just have like a really ragged edge to it, and I just take this ink and ink the edges. It's just black ink. You can use anything you want, obviously. Now the good thing about this particular paper is it pretty much curls up on its own um, because there's a little bit of moisture. You can see that it's already starting to draw up a little bit, um, which I actually like because it gives you an organic kind of shape uh, to whatever you're working on. So there you go, guys. Um, and what I did here is I just did a little spider or a big spider. And uh, I did use white glue to adhere it to the um, card in the background. So there you go. Um, oops. What I did with this is I just took and made a um, place for my sentiment, which I haven't done yet. And I took another spider. This one has a little skull on it. Extra creepy. Put some more spider with behind him. And then I'm going to put um, Happy Halloween on here. I just don't know where my Halloween stamp is right at this second, so I have to find it. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that maybe um, I've given you a little bit of an idea of stuff that you can do with different things that you maybe never really thought about. Um, and yeah, I'll be back soon with another um, idea for my daily prints. And I hope everyone has an awesome day.